I think there's a higher probability of profit for me if I get in now, if I get in early compared to jumping in later. With Police and Thief, I, I made like dollars with a couple of NFTs just within hours of minting. I really like NFT games as a fun way to earn passive income in DeFi. Quitting NFT games is like, it's harder than quitting coffee for me. That's addiction. Every time I think I'm done, there's a new one that I have to try out. They're usually like pretty profitable. And in this video, I'm gonna share some of my research on a new NFT game called Navy Seal Game that's launching on April 10th. Navy Seal Game is a DeFi project where you buy NFTs and stake them to earn passive income in crypto. And it's very similar to Police and Thief or Wolf Game or Pizza Game in that respect. However, with Navy SEAL game, there are some twists that make it super interesting, like uh, some changes in the tokenomics. I really like Navy SEAL game because they KYC'd with Assure DeFi. They've got a lot of hype around the project. They've got a storyline that is funny and engaging. Uh, and they've thought out a longer term vision for the game. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. That I think is gonna help both like the project in terms of sustainability, but also just make it more interesting to participate in for players. So I'm gonna share some of the research that I did for the project and, and just sort of like an overview format. And hopefully that helps you uh, along the way as you do your research. And that's really what I do on this channel. I put my crypto research and opinions out there and hopefully that helps you make better decisions and we're all more profitable. And if that's what you're looking for, go ahead and subscribe with notifications and be sure and watch the whole video because somewhere in here, I'm gonna leave some instructions on how you can get a free mint for this project. So the whole storyline of the game is pretty funny. If you follow them on Twitter or you go into the Discord, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. But the, the slogan, the official slogan of Navy SEAL game is uh, let's make risk to earn great again. I like it. I, I like that it is being promoted as risk to earn instead of play to earn because it more accurately represents your involvement on the passive income scale. What do you mean by that? And, and for those who don't know what I'm talking about, so play to earn games actually require you to do something in game. So like effort must be contributed by the player. On the other hand, like a risk to earn game, just like all you have to do is simply mint an NFT and then stake it. And then you sit back and just collect rewards. And another thing about the storyline is that Navy SEAL game is, is partially based on uh, the game Counter-Strike. And I love Counter-Strike. Like I, I used to play Counter-Strike all the time, but I just don't have time anymore. I've got little girls and you know, they don't like blood, they they like shoes. So unfortunately sitting around playing video games that don't produce income isn't really my, my thing right now. So that's really what I liked about Police and Thief. And that's what I like about, yeah, like even more about uh, Navy SEAL game because Navy SEAL game is really like more aligned with my background. So let's just jump in and, and here's the website, really simple, just like Police and Thief or Wolf game. And if I jump right into the white paper, then this is where you can learn about the storyline. You can learn how to play the game. Uh, very, uh, you know, very simple and straightforward and a really fun background. So uh, if, I, if I scroll down, you can understand like what the game is, what they're trying to accomplish. Uh, you can see some of the details associated with the, the tokenomics and how minting works and everything. And then you can read about the different characters. So you have the Navy SEAL, you have a terrorist, and you have POTUS. You know, there's sort of a, a different strategy behind each one of these characters. Um, and if you scroll down, you can see each one. So terrorists uh, are going to be the majority of what gets minted, 90% chance of minting a terrorist. And you can see this red box here, you can see the different things that you can do with the terrorist and what your probability of you know earning TNT looks like with this particular NFT. So uh, scrolling down a little bit further, uh, you'll see you know if you're a terrorist, if your terrorist tries to escape to a hideout, uh, so basically like unstaking or anything like that, you can see the different uh, level of tax that you'll be taxed, which I think is interesting because what they're trying to do is incentivize players to hold and not to not to just you know cash out as soon as their bag hits a, a certain uh, number of TNT tokens. Uh, so they're really implementing this as a mechanism to help 
try and relieve some of the cell pressure, which I think is good. If I scroll down a little bit more, I can read about uh, TNT and the max supply, which, so getting into the tokenomics. So uh, important, important here, 5 million total TNT. Uh, what I really like about this is that 500,000 TNT is for the team and it is vested over a year. So this com combined with like the KYC through Assure DeFi uh, is a signal to me that this is going to be something that is around for quite a while. Combine that with what the roadmap looks like and that they already have a plan for how the game is going to evolve. They're not just trying to figure it out as they go. Like, I mean, we've seen that before, uh, I think is a, is a really bullish thing. So scrolling down a little bit more, look at the uh, Navy SEAL NFT details. So you have a 9% chance of minting a Navy SEAL. And you would expect that based on that rarity, uh, you maybe get some higher rewards. And that's the case here. So if you look at this, you've got, you know, really low risk with the, the Navy SEAL. Uh, one of the things that stands out to me is that Navy SEAL uh, can, there's a small 1% chance that a Navy SEAL can kill a terrorist, which burns that terrorist NFT. Uh, and I really like that in terms of like having a deflationary mechanism built in. That is uh, the Navy SEAL. And if you scroll down and look kind of through uh, some of the additional details, uh, you'll see that there's also a POTUS character and with POTUS, a very small percent opportunity to mint uh, POTUS and uh, you'll get like a, a greater reward for that. It's just a lower probability uh, and you can kind of see the different power that the, uh, the POTUS NFT has uh, when you look through the white paper. Um, overall, you know, I would say like very, very similar to the other games that you might be familiar with, uh, uh, the other kind of like forks of Wolf game, but I like the different mechanisms and tokenomics that the twists that they're putting on it. I think it's going to help relieve cell pressure and help make the game more sustainable long term. Uh, the taxes are higher in this game, so you can read more about that here. So I really like what the team has done and in, in, in thinking out kind of the future state of the game by uh, introducing some new features that are, I, I think, really going to help uh, with the, the cell pressure, uh, help drive engagement uh, and, and do that up front so that they don't have to launch a new contract. You know, every time they make a small change, uh, they're building things in like for the Gen 1 phase and beyond, right, the ability to utilize these new features like adding a bulletproof vest NFT or adding some other supplemental NFTs uh, to help make the game more interesting and also help, you know, qualify for my dog is sneezing in the background and also uh, help, you know, uh, qualify for like boosted TNT rewards and so on. So uh, I like seeing that. Uh, that's really important. Taking a look at social media for this. So uh, Navy SEAL game is really close to where Police and Thief was when Police and Thief launched. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it was like really, really close here. Uh, with 6,800 followers in, on Twitter right now uh, leading up to launch, I think Police and Thief was in, maybe they were in the 6,000 range, maybe the 5,000 range even, but anyway, it's really close. And then if I go and take a look at you know, the level of engagement and activity uh, from their posts, which gives you a sense of kind of the hype and everything around the project. Uh, and I think is important when you're kind of getting into something early and you really wanna see, you know, like some solid upward price action when something launches, uh, the, the engagement's good. Uh, they, they're really active on uh, on Twitter and social media. Uh, their posts get uh, get decent engagement. And if I go over to Discord and check out their Discord server, uh, they've got uh, about uh, about 4,500 uh, soldiers, and you can see some of the others that are in here. Uh, so decent sized Discord server. They're really uh, like pushing out communication on Discord heavily, which uh, which I like to see. Uh, you know, the you can look in the announcements channel and you can see, you know, a ton of uh, feedback and updates coming through. So really good, really good sign there. Uh, the community is uh, really engaged on Discord as well. And then you can see uh, some details like um, like the pre-sale price and everything up here. You can see their uh, their KYC uh, by Assure. If you go down to the official links uh, channel, then this is really where you should you know, be basic, like launching your navigation and everything in your research from. You don't wanna get hit with any 
uh, any scams, right? Uh, so you want to make sure you're going to the right website. You're, you know, minting from the correct place. If you start to, you know, purchase or sell NFTs on a secondary market, you want to make sure that you're using, you know, the right one. You're not being ripped off. And uh, and so using the official links channel is really big. Uh, I know that this team is big on security, so uh, so be sure you check out their Discord and look at some of these uh, look at some of these resources. So jumping back to the website, uh, don't forget like this this thing is kicking off. It's launching on April 10th, so really important to pay attention to that schedule. Make sure that you are getting involved uh, early if you choose to. Uh, participate in this project and you don't want to miss the the launch time and and getting in on those gen zero mints if you choose to participate here um, so also just some quick navigation on the site so this works a lot like the you know like a police and thief or another uh, similar game but it's important to kind of go through the navigation and everything before launch time so you actually know what to do one of the things that you'll be able to do is come in here to choose your character you'll see the minting progress bar just like you did on other games uh, and you'll be participating if you get in early in the gen zero area and gen zero nfts come with certain perks um, so this is kind of where you can track that uh, you'll be able to connect your wallet and mint your nft and then if you go down to uh, to playing the game so this is going to be where you actually stake your nfts and where you where you unstake and when you you know where you claim and make changes so you'll be able to come in uh, once your wallet's connected and everything you'll be able to to click and stake your nft claim your tnt and then go and sell it if you want to so you can you know transfer it over to your currency or token of choice, right? So that's some quick navigation, kind of two main parts, choose your character and go through the minting process. And then uh, like you can see here, the minting page when it opens, and then there's gonna be the actual playing of the game where you go in and stake that NFT. Uh, later, you'll see armory upgrades right here, and this will be where you can do things like buy those supplementary or supplemental you know nfts like the like the bulletproof vest and so on uh, and upgrade your nfts so then you've got a leaderboard which you'll you'll be able to see like who's making the most and uh and everything out of the game so uh, pretty interesting stuff so that's uh so that's all on the website and kind of how to navigate really quickly so here's what here's what i like um the team is kyc and i put a link to those documents in the description below the vision for the games and the players, uh, it seems to be more, more thought out and more planned than with Police and Thief. And that's important to me because I don't want projects, you know, tanking in price because there was no, there was no plan and it wasn't, uh, and it wasn't built out according to uh, a long-term vision. Now, now being able to pivot is like a super important quality for a team and for the, the devs and everything to have uh, but you know, a pivot always comes at a cost to the players. Like I'm really trying to be done with, uh, with projects that just constantly roll to new versions of their contract, right? I also really like the, the twists in tokenomics here. Uh, specifically, I like that the Navy SEAL has a 1% chance of killing a terrorist. Uh, and you know, that uh, burning that NFT uh, I, I really want to see how that plays out. Even though it's a 1% chance, I really want to see what that does given the total supply that we saw in the kind of the tokenomics for the TNT token. I want to see what that does as far as a deflationary effect on price. So, I mean, like in theory, it should drive price higher and result in more players coming in. Uh, which will be really great for the project and everybody that's that's playing or investing, right? Plus, the other thing that I like about this uh, this project is like the storyline is fun. Uh, it is it's engaging. The team is it's almost like they I don't I don't think this is the case, but it's kind of like they have somebody that is uh, just dedicated to you know uh, to the storyline development and uh, and scripting this out and everything and then engaging the community. I think it's great. So like people have made a lot of money with Pizza Game, right? Um, but I don't want to make pizza. I want to kill terrorists. Chill, chill. And like people play games like this so that they don't have to make pizza anymore. <laughs> so the team reached out to me and offered to sponsor this video. So I get something from this and that helps justify, you know, the time 
I spend away from family, uh, but you also get something from this. I'm gonna randomly choose someone to receive a free mitt for Navy SEAL game. And it's really easy to participate and have a chance at winning the free mitt. All you have to do is uh, like this video, subscribe, and then tweet the video link to SNQ Waters and Navy SEAL game. And I put the ins instructions for that down in the description. So keep watching if you wanna hear my strategy on this game going forward. I think to be the most profitable in these NFT game projects, um, I found that I need to be super early. So since Navy SEAL game is about to launch, I think there's a higher probability of profit for me if I get in now, if I get in early compared to jumping in later. With Police and Thief, I, I made like $900 with a couple of NFTs just within hours of minting. And because of the hype and tokenomics around Navy SEAL game, I think I can break even pretty fast. So I'm looking to mint like 10 NFTs at launch. Is that the best idea for you? I don't really know. I'm a prior service army infantryman. So if you were here looking for investment advice, you'd be in the wrong place. Uh, in fact, like the only thing more dangerous than taking investment advice from an army guy is taking investment advice from a Marine. <laughs> So my strategy is I'm gonna get involved early with money that I'm willing to lose and I'm gonna take profits aggressively until I break even. And then from that point, I'll assess kind of the health and status of the project and I'll go from there. Hey, so if you like uh, stuff like this, you know, DeFi stuff, different trading strategies and everything, and you just kind of want to follow somebody that's uh, that's doing some of the same stuff that you like, then go ahead and subscribe. Uh, you can always unsubscribe later if you change your mind. So subscribing and liking are kind of like a, a high impact way of just saying, hey, thanks, man, I like what you're doing. Thanks for watching the video. I put a bunch of links in the description, including some instructions on how to qualify for that free mint, uh, qualify for a chance to get that free mint. So go ahead and check that out and uh, take a look at my other videos. See ya.